What's up, America? This is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel. Coming to you from our secret location somewhere in America. You'll never find me. You know that. Okay, well, today I'm going to do an unusual commentary. I'm going to praise President Trump for some of the things that he's doing. I'm going to leave out the things that I disagree with, but I'm going to praise him on some of the things he's doing. Now, yesterday, uh, President Trump spoke before the United Nations, and... Uh, now, some of the things he had to say, I think, were very good, and uh, I think that uh, future presidents, whether they be Democrat or Republican or uh, any other party, should take note that uh, he stood his ground and he stood strong, and uh, that's what his supporters like about him, is that uh, he's standing up to these other countries and... Uh, and, and telling them like it is. One of the things he did, which I thought was very good, was he looked over towards where Iran was sitting and he told them if they continued on their path that we would continue on sanctions towards them and everything. And he looked them right in the eye when he did it. Now, that's the kind of president that people admire. And I admire him for that. The other thing that I think was long overdue and every president, Republican or Democrat, ought to stand behind him on this, is that uh, he told the other countries of the UN, United Nations, that they needed to step up and start paying their dues and pay more of their dues than they're paying now. Now, see, what you may not know is that uh, he said the same thing last time he spoke before the UN, and at that time, only, uh, I think, two or three countries were paying about 2% of dues to the UN. And uh, now, after the last time, we've got like nine paying 2%. And he's telling the rest of them, you just step up and pay your fair share. The United States is not going to carry you the rest of your uh, going on if you don't start paying your fair share of dues. You know, you might, uh, somebody might attack you, and you know, the United States might not be around to help you because you haven't been paying your fair shares, you know, and uh, that's a little uh, hard-handed, but that's what uh, presidents need to do, and I admire you, President Trump, for doing that good job. Now, another thing you do, which has nothing to do with the United Nations, is a uh, is, uh, so-called trade war thing going on. He's dead on uh, right with his idea. I don't like exactly how he's doing it, but that's fine. He, we need to tell these other countries, if you want to ship stuff over to the United States and sell it, and then uh, whenever we try to ship something back to your country, charge us all kind of taxes and fees and this, that, and the other, we ain't going to stand for it no more. And uh, if you're going to have unfair trade deals that are not fair and above board and stuff like that, you're going to pay more to send stuff into the United States of America. And he's right there. And uh, it's going to take a little while for that to come around, but that's why people like him. And uh, so uh, I'm not going to vote for him, but uh, I still like some of the things he does, and I think it's time that I stood up and said, good job, President Trump, on those things that you're doing. So that's Jim Bob's commentary today on uh, President Trump. And uh, I hope he keeps doing the good things there and uh, figures out the bad things he's doing and change them all. But anyways, uh, kudos to President Trump. Jim Bob is out.